G'day, I'm Ivan Kovic and we're here today at Guana Bar and we're going to have a look at the Aussie Quip AL40 Pivots there loader. I'm here with Adam White from Machinery Direct and he's going to give us a quick look around it and I'll take it for a bit of a spin and see how she goes. These are a 37 horsepower machine, triple hydraulic pumps. They run 67 litres of hydraulic flow to the auxiliaries. Self-leveling with a uh, joystick control, toggle switches for your auxiliary hydraulics, and two simple uh, pedals to control your forward and reverse uh, direction. One thing that we fit to this machine is the Dingo Kanga compatible uh, hitch. You've got your augers and trenches and various attachments, sweepers, brooms and so forth that are, that are fit straight on this machine. It's a pretty good little machine to ride, pretty stable and seems to dig through the dirt pretty well. It's got some good features on it. The four in one bucket's always a good start. You've got auxiliary piping here, an extendable arm. The canopy's pretty roomy underneath. The seat's a little bit tight. Other than that, all the controls and buttons, etc., are easily accessible. Apart from the joystick over here, you've got uh, a switch to uh, engage the third pump, which is useful when running a high flow attachment such as a trencher. Uh, you've also got a lockout switch that'll lock the four wheels hydraulically uh, for wet, muddy conditions. Servicing of this machine is quite simple. Uh, the engine compartment is removable, as are the sides if need be, but for general servicing, just remove the top cover. It doesn't have a self-leveler on the bucket unfortunately it does when when it's lifting but um, when you come back down it takes a little bit of getting used to as to where the bucket is but it didn't take too long to get a reasonable sort of grade happening excellent machine for working around small properties and and even you know lifestyle blocks and what have you get a hold of your local Aussie equipped dealer and have a talk to them about it and I think you'd be quietly surprised on the price of these things